Hey guys, it's Stove here. Welcome back to another NBA Infinite video. And as you can see by the title, I'm pretty done with the game right now. There's just like no new content. I just want to go off like the top of my head because like I today, I'll just tell you guys, I tried to record a John Moran video, trial to 93 rated. I go into like rank matches. My teammates are just trolling. I have people that don't know how to play the game. I'm playing with superstars every match. Okay, actually, before I even went into rank, I tried to queue up a 1v1. So I queue up a 1v1. I'm waiting in like a two minute queue for a 1v1. And then it gives me a bot. Like, are you telling me there's not enough people in the game for a 1v1 match or to get one like decently quick at like 5 p.m.? Uh, I, I don't understand. So I, I try to queue a 1v1. I get a bot. Okay, that, that's fine. I, I'm just trying to like try out this card. And then I go into rank and every single game just it makes me mad every rank game makes me mad i'm not like having fun um certain teammates there's just always one person that is trolling that shouldn't be in the rank they're playing in that is getting boosted by um like the star cards or whatever whatever you want to call them the protection points uh these people are getting boosted they're also in superstar five playing with like legends and hall of famers so just the overall match quality is terrible solo queue is terrible it's not really fun for me. The only way I've been having fun is trying out these uh, lower rated cards. But when you go against up like uh, up against a 96 rated AD or a 91 rated AD or just AD in general or Tatum, a uh, max rank Tatum, which is easy to get or a Dame that's easy to get these super meta cards like a Giannis, a max rank Giannis or something. And these people start like abusing them, uh, abusing alley-oops, sitting in the paint and holding a screen why is in is that in the game why on offense can you sit in the paint and hold the screen button and just sit there on Embiid? and then say you go to help on defense they just pass it to the Embiid in the paint and he gets a dunk monster are you telling me that that gameplay should be in the game that they should be able to do that I, there's just so many problems with uh nba infinite it's insane like there's no quality of life changes there's no core gameplay changes they're just leaving everything the same and there's no content we, we got Wemby like two months ago. We have one player in three months. Where is the content? It's the NBA playoffs. It is legit the NBA playoffs. Where's Ant? Where's Anthony Edwards? Where's Jalen Brunson? Where are the playoff players? Where are they? Like they've been promising these updates, these uh, changes, but that that uh, Q and that dev Q and A sounded like AI. The last one, it legit sounded like AI responses. I don't know. I'm just pretty done with making content because for me, if I'm not having fun playing the game or even f having fun making content, like usually like before when I started making these videos, uh, I put a lot of effort into my content. I edit everything. I look up clips. I do a lot of like editing myself. I do everything myself, all this editing, getting clips. It takes a few hours, but I do put a lot of time into the content I make to make sure it's good. And I feel like it's not really worth if the NBA infinite developers themselves are not even doing content they're not even there's nothing for me to even make videos about anymore i'm literally like trying out these super cheap cards and then uh, these super expensive cards that are coming out like kd a thousand dollars like 960 dollars to complete that just for like a rank five like how am i supposed to make videos on like i, I it's just pay to win like these this game is just straight up pay to win i would say at a higher um higher rank because like cards like ad uh, maxed out Giannis, like these like, super expensive cards that you have to pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for have a gigantic advantage. Uh, it's just not fun for me. Just overall not fun for me to play rank. I do enjoy streaming. I enjoy um, making content like streaming wise and playing with my community and playing like those kind of matches and stuff like that. Playing 1v1s against my community, playing customs. That's pretty fun for me. Playing rank with my community, that's usually fun. But me recording videos where I just want to relax, play solo, get some decent clips, maybe get a decent gameplay, it's just not working right now. Like, it's just not fun for me. I, I queue into these matches and I swear there's one person that just holds it hostage that griefs the entire match. And there's no ban system. Like, that's one of the things that I, I've been saying for a while now. These players need to get banned. If they're going to not play defense and throw up trash shots and have a 0% shooting rate, you need to be banned. You need to be banned from the game for like seven days and only be able to play normals. No rank, only normals, and then that's fine. Or have them play Dynasty because then they're griefing themselves if they're playing. But 
they, they don't implement that. There's no like real ban system. You just get a note that say, oh, they got penalized. They got some of the rewards taken away. What rewards? What rewards do you even get from playing rank? You don't really get anything. There's no real progression in the game. Uh, once you hit a certain rank, it's just over. What is there to do after you hit a Hall of Fame five stars and claim everything? The rewards from last season are the same as this season. There's legit nothing different. The battle pass is exactly the same. Same exact battle pass. They didn't change anything. It's copy and pasted. There's a few cosmetics that I thought that were cool that came out, but they're exclusive to players like KD. KD's uh, cosmetics are really cool. I said that a bunch of times because I do. I do think that they're cool, but most of the other cosmetics in the game look rushed. They look uh, just, they look bad. They, they honestly just look bad. So th I don't think this court, this court change is basically a reskin uh, of last season. All they did was change the colors up. I think the ball looks cool. That, that's fine like the animations on the ball it's like a gold ball but this, the court the is the exact same all they did was reskin the colors that's it that takes maybe five minutes to do guys it takes maybe five minutes to do it, it's not it's not anything so i feel like there's just a lack of effort from the 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 game themselves but the developers themselves but we don't know what's happening behind the scenes it could be that they're understaffed and they don't have enough people to develop the game or maybe they're work just hard at work working on these players maybe there's going to be a huge update coming out for uh in may like they said they keep hyping up this may update and season two was like a gigantic letdown and i think everyone like all these other creators saying that they're pissed off about these like things like um the loot boxes uh whatever you want to call them the gold box and lack of information and the randall event i was pretty pissed about the randall event myself because i bought a few randalls thinking oh if i buy three randalls that'll be enough for me to train them in no you need like four or whatever it was like i don't know it's just uh it, i'm not having fun with this game at all i don't think it's really competitive for me i like games that that feel competitive and that they feel like uh everyone's on an evil uh, even not evil uh even playing field when you're playing the game and that's just not it. It's uh, it's pretty pay to win if you buy an AD, which that's fine, sure. But it shouldn't be as strong as, as it is right now. There's just certain things that needs to get need to get balanced and just get. Uh, I don't know, man. There's just too much. For me, playing a game like this is just so boring. There's nothing new, and a lot of people have been saying that that oh, they're bored of the game, they're quitting, and I kept myself like entertained by playing different players and selling cards but i lost all of my coins doing this making videos uh all the money that i put into the game is basically gone now because of the trash market rate so that you can't buy new players and you have to buy more packs just overall this game is just uh not it for me right now so i don't think i'm gonna be really making too much content maybe like a video here or there if new things come out maybe i'll check it out I'll make videos on it because it, yeah if it's new content and it's cool then i'll make content but right now what am i supposed to be making videos on the the meta is solved the cards that have been out have been out or that okay the cards that are out have been out for months now so i i just i don't understand it is the nba playoffs and we have no events we have no new cards we have no events what what is going to happen the rest of the year what is going to happen after the playoffs when when and the nba isn't even on are they going to start releasing cards after the hype dies down like it just baffles me like it's so insane to me that they're like fumbling this hard on a game that's actually a good product because i think the core gameplay is good but it just needs it needs like changes they need content i don't know man there's just something like it just doesn't feel right it doesn't feel right making content for the game right now it's so stale. I don't see this like going anywhere good unless the update is gigantic, like absolutely massive with content. The amount of content and they just keep pumping content every month. But what are they going to do? Release one big update with a few players and then four months down the line, then we get more players? Nah, there needs to be a a set like, uh, what do you want to call it? I, I, don't, I don't know what to call it, but what is the word for it? They need like a plan, like a set, like, oh, what, what we're doing. Like, oh, this month we're coming out with this content. What is it? Like a, a map, a roadmap. Okay, there we go. Finally got to it rambling off the top of my head. They need a set roadmap, guys. They don't have a roadmap. They're just releasing updates randomly that don't really add anything. There was the St. Patrick's Day one. That was cool, okay? I guess they gave us outfits and then you, you lost them. Uh, nobody has a St. Patrick's Day outfit ever. Like, wh where did it go? Did you have to buy that? Like, I don't know, man. 
for me, I'm not really having too much fun with the game right now. I'm probably going to move over to Hawk and just make content on Hawk and try to build my channel around that game or any other games that I want to play because I play what is fun for me. I'm not really gaining too much off of uh, playing this game content like viewership wise we are doing pretty well i don't think it's just like we have our core audience which i'm happy with i'm happy with like the amount of views and everything we have we have a great community um when i stream and everything but i don't think this game is getting any new players i think it's just if anything it's, it's declining so that's really bad as a creator as a player you want to see new players coming to your game you don't want the game that you like playing uh, to get stale and lose players because then the quality of life for, for you goes down when you have less ranked players your queue times go up Everyone playing the game should be mad about like what's happening right now because it just ruins your your day If you want to like come home from school or from work and just like play a few matches And you can't get a match because the queue time is too long That's because they're not advertising the game and there's no content and they're losing players. So Just uh, yeah, just a little bit of a rant for me here I'm definitely going to be taking a break from videos for for this game, but expect frequent uploads for Hawk, Honor of Kings, uh, other games maybe, maybe news about games. I don't know. I'm going to be trying other stuff out, but I will still be streaming NBA Infinite a little bit. Uh, I don't think too much, maybe like a few more streams, and I'm going to maybe fully go over to Honor of Kings, and then we'll see what goes on from there. So just a bit of a channel update here and my thoughts on NBA Infinite, but yeah. My, my content's not going ever, anywhere. If you guys want to keep supporting me, watching videos, maybe see some new games, stick around. I'm going to be uploading very frequently soon. I kind of took a break for like a, a week or two after going like super hard with, with content, but we're back. Going to be uploading every single day. And yeah, leave a like, subscribe, comment. See you guys later.